Hello, welcome to this section of the circuit analysis tutor. Uh, in the previous couple of sections, we've talked about the step response of a circuit that contained an inductor and a resistor. And we basically drilled it in that that's going to always yield an exponential increase up to the final value of the current in the circuit. Uh, and it's going to be governed, the shape of it will be governed by the time constant of the circuit. Now we're going to turn our attention to capacitor circuits, RC circuits, and also talk about the step response. So just to recap everything, originally in the course we covered um, natural response of inductor circuits and the natural response of capacitor circuits. Then we just now talked about uh, step response of inductor circuits and now we're finally closing the loop by talking about the step response of capacitor circuits. So just like we've done for all of the previous derivations, we're going to turn our attention to this circuit here. Notice we have a source, a resistor here. Uh, which makes up like a Norton equivalent circuit of any, any source that you might have. And then you have a switch there and then you have your capacitor. And so originally the capacitor is open and then we close the switch. The current attempts to surge in and charge up that capacitor. So the current is going to begin to flow into the capacitor and also the voltage across the capacitor is going to begin to rise so as the capacitor charges up. But we've learned up until this point that nothing happens instantaneously in circuits, right? So during this transient response period, everything's going to be doing things exponentially. You probably shouldn't be too surprised by that now. So if we wanted to derive this uh, using the whole differential equation thing like I talked about, what you could do is a node voltage method and you basically could look at this as a node and you basically sum the currents going into the node and that's going to lead to a differential equation. Coming into this leg, you know what the current is, it's just I sub S. Um, and if you look at this being V sub C, then the voltage here is V sub C, so the current going through here is V sub C over R. Okay, that's not too hard. The current through here, if you think about the current through a capacitor, is C times dV dt. So C times dV, uh, this voltage here, dt. So that's where the derivative comes into play. So that's all coming about as doing a node voltage or a Kirchhoff current law, I guess you could look at it, just coming from this node there. You sum all the currents coming in, you're going to get a derivative. If you start separating all that stuff and integrating it, separating variables, what you're going to find is when you do it, you're going to get an exponential response just like we did for the last circuit. Because as I've been saying over and over again, capacitors and inductors are very similar. The details are different. The, the uh, um, exact way in which it happens is a little bit different. But the overall idea of, of those guys being duels of one another is basically the same. So if we do all of this stuff, if we solve the... the uh, ordinary differential equation, we're going to get the following.